Hey everybody, in anticipation of some of the changes that are going to be, may or may not be happening over the next few weeks, I wanted to put together a few quick videos about how to use some of the online tools um, that you probably are familiar with, but maybe not completely solid on, just in case these are things that you're going to need to know. Um, a lot of you asked some really good questions as we were going over these tools in class, and I wrote some of them down so that I could make sure to cover them in this video so that it was both available for students and for parents and families um, because a lot of people are trying to make preparations and we know that a lot of people are going to be in and out of school or staying at home because of families and health and those considerations. I wanted to make sure that you had the information available that you might need. This video is going to focus on how do you check your school email. That's something that a lot of you know you have but are not totally solid on how to check. If you know how to check it, like that's awesome, this video then is not for you, but this is focusing more on how do students that don't know or are not comfortable with checking their school email, how do you do that? So the first step is we're going to go to the WSFCS website. Um, as you know, there's lots of tools that are available through staff student links. So when you go to WSFCS and you go to staff student links, you're going to be looking for Office 365. So Office 365 gets you into all of the Word documents and the email. For most of our students, email is the part that they're worried about, though I'm sure some of the high school students are more familiar with some of the other tools. So when you click on Office 365, the first thing it's going to do is ask for your email. And this is the part that a lot of people get stuck on. So you guys have your 4x4 that you use to log into the computers. You're actually going to use that here as well. Okay, so you're going to type in the first four of your first name, the first four of your last name, the last four of your lunch number. But this is the part that people forget. You have to have the at sign and the WSFCS students. So I'm putting it here on the screen right now so you can see how to spell WSFCS students. The biggest thing that most people do when they can't get into their email is they forget this S right at the end of WSFCS students, plural, dot net, okay? So once you do that, it's gonna ask for your password. It's the same password that you use to log into everything else. Okay, so the password you use to log into the computer is the password that you're going to use to log into your email. Once you do that, it's going to take you to this homepage for your email account. So once you've gotten to this homepage, the part that you're worried about to check your email is this Outlook button right here. So see how it has the envelope? That's how you know that's the one for your email. When you click on it, it's going to pull up your entire inbox. A lot of you have emails that you've been getting from the school district, maybe from previous teachers or classmates. Okay, what you do with those is your own deal. Um, please just be aware that any emails that are sent through your WSFCS email can and will be checked by the adults in WSFCS. So please don't email anything you would not want your mom to read. Okay, so that's a good rule of thumb with anything digital, really. So if you want to send an email, you're going to want to use this blue new message button right here in the left corner. So once you click it, a new message box will open up here on the right. So when you're trying to email anyone in Forsyth County Schools, this two column, if you start typing their name, it will automatically start popping up. So if I type in Miss Uribe, her name will pop up, okay? If I type in Miss Lundquist, Lundquist, she'll pop up. Okay, the trick here is when you have somebody that has a more common last name. So like Mr. Scott, there's lots of people with the last name Scott. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have the right one. So Mr. Scott is this one. Miss Scott is this one. Okay, so make sure you're emailing the right person. When you're sending an email, you should always put a subject. Roughly, what is the email about? So for example, I'm gonna email Miss Uribe, 
and in my subject, I'm going to say tutorial video because that's what I'm gonna email her about. When you write an email, you should always put dear Mrs. Uribe or whoever you're talking to, okay? Then you should write the body. This is just like if you're writing a paper letter, okay? So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna write out the body of my email. You can see that I have my account set up so that my name automatically goes at the bottom. You'll probably have to type your own name. That's so once you've finished writing the email, you have your introduction, the body of your email, and your signature at the end, you're ready to send it. So all you do is press the send button and off it goes, okay? If you have a question, then you should check your email so that you get it when we answer, okay? Um, your email is by no means a requirement, but it might make your life a whole lot easier if you need a quick response from us. Just as a friendly reminder, I know I covered this with my classes, but I'm going to remind you again here in this video. Um, we love you, but we get a lot of email. Please don't send us, hi, hi, how are you doing? Hi, I get that you're, you're trying to be funny, but when you get as many emails a day as we do, like that becomes really frustrating. So I mean that in the nicest of ways, Please don't send us nonsense. If you have a question, we want that email. We want to be able to help you, but please don't send us nonsense. Okay, as always, if you have questions, let us know. If you're having trouble accessing your email, leave a comment below, and I will try to either help you or get you in touch with somebody that can help you. This is gonna be a tricky time for all of us, and we're gonna figure it out little by little. So hope you're having a wonderful day, be brilliant, and I'll talk to you soon.